Hi my fragrance loves, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to talk about my, the last of my um, mini haul that I did when I did when I had Mango Skin and Cafe Chante. And the last but not least is Vanilla D Tahiti. I got this as a sample and I can say that I did not like this when I first sprayed this on my SIP card. Um, it was a huge no for me because it smelled um, a little bit too mature. Um, the uh, the um, it has absolute yelling yelling in it. I keep wanting to say yelling yelling. Absolute yelling yelling in it, and I think that that's what's like getting me the most out of this. Um, then it has vanilla and um, amber oh, and sound and all that kind of stuff, but. The initial spray of this was not good for me. Um, the dry down on the end was perfect. I love the dry down of this. And the dry down for me, it takes like 40, 40 minutes and then I can get past it. But this is from um, Paris Montel, Monte um, Carlo. It comes in this really nice good bottle love it um it's spray is really nice too yeah i don't regret buying this i just mm, the initial spray is just not what that is for me yeah it's super super mature on the initial spray but let's see what they say I'm on lucky sense site and it says that this is a native to Central America it's a symphony of warm exotic and gentle sweet notes enveloping vanilla enriched in floral notes of ylang ylang and champa champaca while enchanting warm notes of amber mingle with musk and sandalwood and like I said, I can say that the Yelang Yelang is, you get that, like the first, it's it's there. But it has notes of absolute Yelang Yelang, absolute of Champaka, um, vanilla of Tahiti, CO2, amber, sandalwood, and musk. It's $109.90 for 100 ml. And then on Lucky Scent, you can get a 0.7 milliliter um, sample for $4. Out of a five, I will give this fragrance a 3.5. Um, I think you have to like absolutely ylang ylang, not just like a ylang ylang. You have to actually like absolutely ylang ylang because that's what's giving me this mature um, scent. But it layers really nice. I layer this with my MFK um, Grand Soiree or my um, Mason Francis, not Mason Francis, Christian, that's MFK, um, my Christian Dior. Mason Christian Dior private collection or exclusive collection, um, Fiva Delicious. This layers well with both of them. Love the layering of them, um, especially like when it dries down. It's so great. Um, once I go through this, I'm probably not gonna buy this again, but like I said, I don't regret buying it, it's just something that I didn't love on first sniff and I'm okay with it um being it being what it is I'm more okay with this than I'm okay with my Baccarat Rouge 540 that one is still like I I try to spray it so I can get some sprays out of it and it's just it's taking me some time but anyways um that is it for today um I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is super quick. I just wanted to get this out of the way because I have more another fragrance um, haul coming up. And I can't wait to show you guys what I bought. All of these 
are blind buys. The next couple of fragrances that I am showcasing, complete blind buys. So I'm hoping that I like them because they were over $150. And um, except for one wasn't, it was like $80. But it's not the point, they're all blind buys. And I'm nervous. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, probably next time you see me, I will be having new nails. Yes, because these are getting old. Um, but as you can see, I had put my hair up because it was just getting crazy. But thank you guys so much. Thank you for all the people who wish me birthday wishes on my birthday um, and after my birthday. I thank you. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.